Welcome to Alphabet City. This is the show that covers everything to do with Alphabet. Alphabet happens to own lots of companies like Verily, Chronicle, Waymo, and Google. I'm your guide, Ayaz Akhtar, and you are the outstanding audience. Today we're talking about some bad YouTube stuff, a good self-driving car, your comments, and more. But first up, let's talk about Barcelona. On to Android Avenue. Weird Android devices are all over Mobile World Congress 2019. We've been covering everything like crazy at CNET.com. Let's hit you with the highlights. We've got Huawei's new Mate X. It's a ridiculously ambitious device. Unlike Samsung's Galaxy Fold, the display flexes on the outside. You get a main display of 6.6 .6 inches. The rear has a 6.38 inch display. And when you unfold the whole thing, you get an eight inch display. The cameras are housed in a bump that can be used as a handle when you're holding the Mate X as a tablet. So you're probably wondering, what about that seam? How visible is the seam on the Mate X? Now CNET got to see the device up close and actually handle it. Jess Delcourt says she saw a bit of a ridge when the show unit puckered up. She says she's not sure how any design that bends this way wouldn't have a little loose skin like the outside of your elbow when you straighten your arm. And here's something for my son. He was wondering how a case would work on foldable phones. Huawei says it does have a case for the Mate X, which covers the device's sides and back when folded. There's a window for the front 6.6 .6 inch display. The Mate X will ship in the middle of this year with a price of around $2,600. Let's talk about LG. It introduced the LG G8 ThinQ. It's big hook, you don't have to touch it to control it. It's like LG had this idea. Hey, people don't wanna to touch our phones, so maybe they'd want an LG phone if it were touchless. The feature is called Air Motion. It uses the phone's front-facing camera to track your hand movements. If you want to control the volume, you make your hand into a claw and twist an invisible dial. I'm not making that up. I say go for it, LG. Go full Doctor Strange on your next phone. Lots of movements and wackiness. Then there's the LG V50 ThinQ 5G, which will arrive with, surprise, 5G. What else sets it apart? A second screen folio case. You pop in the LG V50 ThinQ in it, load an app, and boom two screens. The V50 handles all the processing and powers the second screen. By the way, the dual screen attachment will arrive to many markets, excluding the US. Hey, you look like you like buttons. Google says dedicated Google Assistant buttons are coming to certain phones by LG, Nokia, Xiaomi, TCL, and Vivo. Google says it expects 100 million devices to launch with a dedicated Assistant button. And get this, Samsung is loosening its death grip on the Bixby button. The company announced that it is introducing Bixby Key Customization. You will be able to call up any app or quick command with a single or double tap. Samsung says the feature will be on the S10 and be available via software update to previously released Bixby-enabled flagship phones running Android Pie. Got all that? For more on MWC, including TCL's foldables and Nokia's phone with five rear cameras, check out cnet.com slash MWC. On to Uptown Updates. There's some heavy stuff going on at YouTube. A YouTuber by the handle Matt's What It Is published a video with the title, YouTube is facilitating the sexual exploitation of children and it's being monetized. Wired published an in-depth look at this disgusting situation. YouTube saw a bunch of advertisers leave based on the reports. AT&T, Hasbro, Nestle, and McDonald's all pulled some of their ads. YouTube issued a statement saying it took immediate action by deleting accounts and channels, reporting illegal activity to authorities, and disabled comments on tens of millions of videos that include minors. In lighter news, Waymo released a video showing its self-driving car recognizing an officer on the street directing traffic. The Waymo vehicle approached an intersection with a broken traffic light. The car stops and waits for a signal from the officer before moving ahead. By the way, the Waymo video was sped up by three times by the company for convenience. Makani has spun out of X. That sentence probably requires some clarification. X is Alphabet's experimental division, formerly known as Google X. Waymo, Loon, and Verily all came out of X. Now, it's Makani's turn. So what does Makani do? It makes kites that harness wind energy. That's right, energy kites. The idea is there are areas where conventional wind energy systems won't work. So, Makani came up with this idea 13 years ago. Makani will still be under the Alphabet umbrella, unlike that weirdo dandelion, which spun out of X and is independent of Alphabet 2. On to Comment Cove. 
This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight at the most amazing audience in the world, you. Last time I talked a little about something called the Samsung Galaxy Fold. You might have heard of it. A number of you had a very similar comment to Jaden Kim. Just $1,980? Really? What Jaden is referring to is the way I said the pricing. I should have said it starts at just $1,980. I was referring to the model shown on the screen at the time. Also, yes, two grand is a lot of money. We'll add sarcastic tags to future episodes. No? My producers are saying we are not doing that. Okay, moving on. Designer Grant says he's very impressed with the Galaxy S10 screen, but he warns it is weird to take selfies with the camera being in the corner. Please be aware of this. Thanks, Grant. Brian Rogers asks, any news about HTC? Hey, yeah, there is. HTC showed up to MWC with a 5G hub that runs full Android. Take a look. It's running Android Pie, has a 5-inch display and speakers. It's headed to Sprint and it supports up to 20 devices. It's called the HTC 5G Hub. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Aya Zaktar and I'll see you online. Remember how I told you guys that the Nest Secure had Google Home functionality? Well, guess what? People are ticked because when they bought a Nest Secure, they didn't know it had a microphone in it. Google said the on-device microphone was never intended to be a secret and should have been listed in the tech specs. The mic has never been on and is only activated when users specifically enable the option. <sighs> Google. Jeez.